Growing up, I used to only get $5 a day to spend on lunch or whatever I wanted. This meant stuff like video games or DLC or, God forbid, a computer or a new console were completely gone for me. That wasn't exactly in the realm of stuff that I could get because I'm only getting $5 a day or $25 a week. Later on, eventually I would get $150 every month. That felt like a lot of money back then because now I could spend a little bit more and I would potentially be able to actually buy a game if I just didn't spend any money. However, looking back at that, I'm wondering how I only spent $150 a month because every time I go out to eat, it's like $10 or $12, even at McDonald's and all these places. So that's before I buy groceries, and that's before whatever random stuff comes up. Now I spend like $600 just on trying to live, not even on food, but on internet, on payments, on all of these things. So I look back at that, and I'm wondering, how do I live on $25, and how come I'm not more happy now that I have a lot more money? And it's because of this thing called the hedonistic treadmill, and it gets everyone. Something with humans just makes it so we cannot be happy no matter where we are. I think this is part of the reason why so many people, celebrities especially, because they have money and fame and all those superficial things that we all think our lives would be so much improved if we had. They have everything, so they just get involved in drugs because they're just bored. Imagine living life where you didn't have to worry about money or well, you know, all your future generations are set Everyone knows who you are. There's no reason to work. There's no reason to do anything pretty much So they find meaning in these drugs and in these parties and all these things. That's why so many of them are depressed That's why so many of them can't go on. It's because they have too much stuff which doesn't make sense. I talked a little bit about it in my last video, but we are built to work, it seems. It's ingrained in us, it's ingrained in our names, in our culture, in our art, in everything. Money drives us all towards being able to do things for us to live, but it's also required for us to live at the same time. And it's so easy for us to, to keep on working without even knowing why. And when you see those celebrities who you think have these perfect lives and they turn out to be miserable, you have to wonder why. We kind of already do know why. Because my story isn't exactly only exclusive to myself. Most people as adults have more spending money than they do as kids. However, most people will say that being an adult is worse than being a kid. An example I can bring is I talked to a YouTuber far more famous than I am. He has a million subs. He's living the dream that I want to live. If I had a million subs and I die the next day, I would be happy. However, he's miserable. He turns to me and he says, how do you do it? Now, I look at him and I'm like, I'm sorry, what, what? What are you saying to me? What do you mean, how do I do it? I'm barely doing it as it is. You're doing it. And I'm sorry to admit that in that moment, I couldn't say anything to him because I was completely dumbfounded. I didn't know what to say. However, here's my response to him, if he is watching this, which I probably will send him this. Going through the motions growing up and through life only thinking about money will not bring you happiness money and fame don't you gotta appreciate the little things the time that you spent away from getting those in the first place it's about appreciating the hardship that life is it's about holding yourself back from indulging in all of the good things that life has to offer now i know it sounds extremely weird but let me explain going back to the beginning when i would go out for lunch i would have to buy something extremely cheap no drink no sides or anything it's just like either two slices of pizza or one slice of pizza and a drink. That's it. But then, now that I've grown up, I could buy the whole pizza and I could buy, you know, the pop and all that. But even going down from that, let's say you go to a store and you buy a hot dog every day. Then one day you decide to get a hot dog and a Sprite or a Coke or a soda or whatever. All of a sudden, that's the new norm. Then you get a hot dog, a Sprite, and some fries. And now that's the new norm. And then you go back to just the hot dog and you're like, well, this sucks. All it takes is that one mistake for you to keep on going down the hedonistic treadmill. And to abstain from these things is the only way that you can actually enjoy what you actually have. It's not about going out and buying a Lamborghini when you're a millionaire. It's about realizing the fact that you can have the Lamborghini. You can go out and buy the things that you would want to buy. That is what makes it worth it. That's what makes it to go forward. The fact that you can buy it. The fact that you can get stuff that you want. It's not even having the things that you want. It's the fact that you can. That is how you enjoy the things that you have, the wealth and all of that. As somebody who has been both rich and poor growing up, it is extremely hard for me to remember this. Because even now, I think, if only I had money, it would solve all my problems. Back then, I wished I could give all my money away because I just, I just felt so unfulfilled. I felt terrible. Well, guess what? I don't have any money. And now I wish I had it again. Now, this could be signed up to not knowing what you have 
But I think it's just more due to the fact that when you have all this stuff, you just kind of... There's like a big guilt that you feel about having all these resources and not doing more with it, not getting more money. Once you have a million dollars, the only, way, the only thing you think about is getting to 10 million or a billion or, you know, 100 million or the next thing. You aren't exactly elated to wake up every day and be like, yeah, I'm a millionaire. Eventually it gets to the point where it's just like, yeah, I have a million dollars, okay? And as weird as that sounds to everyone who doesn't have it, look at what you have. Do you have a wife? Well, I mean, you don't exactly wake up every day and like be super happy that it happened. But when you first saw her and approached her, you were like, oh my God, I hope this works out. Then you went on the first date and you were like, yes. And then she said that you loved you and then, you know, you were super happy about that. Then you got married and you're like, oh my God, I can't believe this is actually happening. Now you just wake up every day and it's just like, hey, how's it going, dear? Hey, how's it going? And that's it. You don't exactly wake up every day and feel the same elation that you used to feel at one point. And if it's like being good at something like a sport, you don't wake up every day and, th and are like, oh, yeah, dude, I'm number one in the world, number 10 in the world. When I was a pro at playing video games, I didn't wake up every day and think, oh my God, dude, I'm the you know top 500 best Overwatch player. That, that wasn't on my mind. My mind was, why am I not the top 100? Which is a good mindset to have when you're competing for stuff, but it does get negative. Because when you don't get to those same extremely high break points, making like 50k or 100k a month, you don't reach that. You get like 30k, and you feel like shit over something that you should not feel like shit for, because it's not the norm for you. The norm for you has been set to such an unrealistically high standard that now that you can't complete it, you feel like shit. Think about these Hollywood stars that star in like the greatest movies of all time, and the rest of their career is complete dog shit. Do you really think that they're happy with themselves? Do you really think that Bruce Willis wants to be starring in these straight-to-DVD movies? No, he wants to go back to Die Hard. In fact, they're making a remake of Die Hard called McLean, but it's just not gonna be the same. He's not the same actor. Anyway, always remember to have yourself a damn good one.